5 months ago, I made a video on black hairstyles. Still a great video, as well as a topic that I am very passionate about to this day. But in that video, I voiced my concerns on the impact that Killmonger's hairstyle has had in black character designs in the past couple of years. And to be honest, during the making of that video, I was kinda doubtful of the point I was making. Were there really that many characters with that hairstyle? Am I crazy for pointing out how many characters have had this since Killmonger? Should I just appreciate the fact that we're getting more than a raggedy ass lineup these days? But you know what? I, I believed in my points 100% through and through and hoped that, you know, maybe I wouldn't see as many of this hairstyle soon after that. And that at the end of the day, I probably was just cherry picking. But then I kept seeing- Hell. Hell. So I'm just sitting here like, what the fuck is going on? Why does every nigga ever have this hairstyle in game? I I've never seen this hairstyle in real life. I made a point in the video that ever since Black Panther dropped, developers have come to the conclusion that black people now have four hairstyles, buzz cuts, afro, cornrows, and dread combovers. Now we just have one. And it's crazy because to this day, I've not seen a single nigga with this hairstyle in real life, bro. I'm just saying, I'm born and raised in a city that is largely Caribbean to the point where it would only be like three white people in all the schools I went to and I've not seen it yet. From the outside looking in, bro, it all just looks like a circle jerk of misinformation because now game devs think as soon as you give one of these black characters this hairstyle that they immediately went over the black community. I know that's exactly what they're thinking because it's the only reason we've only been seeing this hairstyle on niggas and it's crazy because it literally gives the opposite of reaction we not rocking with this shit bro we tired the characters y'all giving this hairstyle to is tired the damn hairstyle itself is tired you got them hair strands working 90 hours a week no lunch breaks no nothing it's gotten to the point where we can just tell by seeing this hairstyle that there was nary a negro to be seen in that writer's room not a single drop of melanin in there we gotta get more melanin in these rooms Yo, I'm telling you, if you a black dev, I love and am rooting for you. Especially if you aspiring. Please! Please! And look, the thing is, it's a cool hairstyle. I really want to emphasize that because it looks awesome. But can we spice things up a bit in the kitchen? Like, y'all been cooking up microwave noodles every night for years. It's a pantry full of food, my nigga. We just got done grocery shopping. EBT card and coupons and everything. Just to cook microwave noodles again. Like, you get what I'm trying to say here? Like, we have other hairstyles. We have so much more other hairstyles. And you know what the funniest part out of all this is? I feel like we can all agree that Killmonger was the one that popularized this trend of comb over locks, right? Except... In that same movie, he has his hair in four different styles, nigga. So why is it just that one? Seeing everybody with the dyed comb over locks, Loki got me missing one that used to give niggas raggedy ass lineups. Not really, but we're getting there, unfortunately. This actually reminds me of how like every black kid in shows had a high top in the 90s or some shit. Except that's completely different because of how common that hairstyle actually was in real life and still is nowadays. And it's all getting completely blown out of proportion like the telephone game or some shit. I did not think it would keep getting worse like this. And you know what? I knew I had to say some shit again when they gave Eddie Gordo that hairstyle, dog. Eddie Gordo is a character from Tekken who's had dreadlocks, well, since his first appearance in Tekken 3. They've always been so fire-ass dreadlocks. They were unique enough to the point where you couldn't name like 37 other black characters who had that same exact style, word for word, bar for bar. Even as I'm saying this, you cannot possibly fathom the instant disappointment that took hold of my entire body like a vengeful spirit when I was watching his review trailer for taking eight like bro it really ain't that deep but damn nigga this has to stop they got me feeling like jesse and breaking bad bro they can't keep they can't keep getting away with this it's so lazy bro it's so lazy this is like factory settings for black niggas at this point it just bothers me because how many games can you say you can play a nigga with waves and you know what i'm not just gonna talk about how much i dislike how overused this hairstyle is i'm gonna shed light on some really cool black hairstyles that black people do want to see in games because i don't want this whole video to be negative that's why number one waves there ain't too many games that let niggas catch waves i'm gonna tell you that much you know it's a cruel world especially when the only popular character in any kind of media ever that actually has waves is a white guy from Connecticut. Damn. I didn't believe in myself until my friend showed me Norman Osborn in the comments. I was in complete disbelief. I mean, black or not, 
That nigga swimming. Norman hitting all eight angles. 60 strokes each angle. He don't miss an angle. He got that unreleased limited edition sold out Oscorp Durag Deluxe. I apologize. I wasn't really familiar with your game, bro. Yo shit spinning like that, you welcome to the cookout anytime. First ever VIP pass to a cookout. And it's a white nigga from Connecticut with 360 waves. Anyway, this is a very common style among black folk. I can tell you right now, anybody in your game has waves done right, that will catch every black person's eye playing that game in a heartbeat. How devs think we react to Dread Combo for the 47th time is how we react to really good waves. I mean, shout out Fortnite because they've been going crazy with the black hairstyles. She's so fine, she done pissing me off. How are you that fine? These are the greatest waves I have ever seen in a game ever. And you know what? There is not much competition there. The only other game I can think of at the top of my head that lets you pick waves is, well, first of all, it's 2K. But second, it's, well, let's not talk about that. Another thing that goes hand in hand with waves is do rags. You know what I got underneath this do rag? What you got on the do rag? Oh Another do rag. Woo! You know what I got underneath this What's under the do rag? Oh, Another do rag. And that's also something that you never see in games. You see a lot of bandanas, but they're not really the same thing. Do rags is mainly for the sake of maintaining your twists or dreads, your braids, but more specifically waves. Do rags done right as well will guarantee our attention, bro. Because we don't see that ever. One more thing when doing this though, please do consult the nearest nigga in your vicinity. Or just do your research, please. Cause we don't want another one of these. <laughs> I would love to talk to the person that made this. Look me in the eye and point to the nigga you saw walking around with this parable of the fade in the back of his head. Number two, clean ass fade with the line. What? <laughs> That's it. It's that easy. I specify the fade and the lineup because it's not the same as a buzz cut, my nigga. He hasn't seen a barber in years. Don't let the cut fool you. He been cutting his own hair since the pandemic. He just don't know how to line himself up. I don't even need to tell you the collective excitement we had when they finally let Miles see a dang barber after Spider-Man PS4, bro. I mean, bro, that review is black history. It's honestly criminal how rare it is to see lineups and fades this crisp. If you really want to go crazy, you can do the swooshes and designs here and there and, and i'm gonna tell you this right now those are always fucking awesome black desert does this so well and i talked about this in the ranking black hairstyles video and to be honest this being my third video on the topic is kind of crazy my fault. but also more recently need for speed unbound as well dropped some new takes on it man it's always awesome seeing unique designs like this because of how simple but hard hitting it is bro i'm just saying they need to have miles revert back to the normal fade next game they need to cut them dreads off like this Damn. speaking of dreads number three is dreads and to be honest i should have made this the first one because there are so many ways to style dreads with an undercut alone but every time it's that little dusty ass swoop style y'all have the undercut and the texture down now you just have to do something else bro you could do two strand twists box braids the same dreads but ponytail the same dreads lay down like bro like i know for white people it's a bit of a jarring topic because y'all don't really have to give a damn about hairlines to begin with but as i always say study study research i already know it's gonna be niggas in the comments actually like blacks complain about anything and everything these days blacks are never satisfied it's just hair <laughs> look man next month is black history month or this month depending on when i get this video and all i'm saying is if i see another video game character revealed with this hairstyle in black history month i'm gonna have to step in don't make me step in y'all niggas not gonna like it when i get involved i'ma send my goon daddy's cabbages to deal with you niggas